Hey there folks, what's video here? I'm going to be giving my instant reaction to the Spanish Grand Prix. I will be using spoilers, so uh, be prepared for that. But it was a very fascinating race for a couple of reasons. It wasn't necessarily an entire bore fest, even though we saw um, Mercedes very much dominating. And being able to do an interesting third stop at the end there for Bottas, where it didn't seem like the soft tyres were working so well. But they've managed to also get the fastest lap and a new lap record with Bottas on the final lap. The question is though, how come it was Verstappen saying, my tyres are dead? Is Bono to Red Bull confirmed? Of course I am joking, but Verstappen lashing out at, uh, at his team like that. Um, I mean, people like to have a go at Lewis Hamilton for the Bono, my tyres are dead. But Christ, Verstappen was on another level. The, the way that he was complaining, the way he was lashing out of the team was at another level. Like, he was... It, it, it seems like, you know, when everyone attributes those crybaby memes to Lewis with the bottom of the tires are dead. It seemed like it was actually a crybaby meme with Verstappen there. Red Bull just didn't have the pace, which was odd, given that they usually perform very well in the heat and out altitude. Some of the Mercedes doesn't. Um, so, it's also odd because, well, the tires are the same as what we've been seeing at Silverstone. So it's it's really weird to see the Red Bull so far off the pace. Of course, Albon down in 8th. Now, there was one other driver getting angry about the tyres, and it was Ferrari driver Sebastian Vettel. Because the Ferrari master plan saw um, Charles Leclerc have a it's broken moment. Um, go back to Spa last year. And Vettel was like, yo, so what's happening with my tyres? They're, they're, they're absolutely done. You're asking me to do basically half the race distance on softs. Man, how he managed to make that last? Well done to him. And well done to Checo. Um, first race back for Sergio Perez. Uh, what a stop again. Uh, and managed to be fourth on track and fifth by looks at this classification. After a blue flag penalty, demoted him from fourth and gave it to Lance Stroll. And uh, we also saw penalties for blue flag violations for Daniel Kvyat. But yeah, this was an interesting Grand Prix, to say the least. Like it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't really a snooze fest, as people would believe it was. And actually. There have been some good points for racing points as well. I think they're making up a lot of that deficit now and really closing up that gap. Definitely closing up that 15 points uh, loss that they had with a fourth and a fifth. But yeah, at the same time, I've done a video already about the driver's protest ahead of the Grand Prix. Uh, you can check that out in the description section down below. It's something that I feel is a bit more important to talk about in regards to the real world than um, the cars going around in circles for 66 laps. So it's a bit ranty because, well, it's six races in and not really much has changed. But you can also find a description for that one, me talking about it at other Grand Prix, as well as me talking about things like We Race as One. On that note, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.